here is me downloading ChatGPT for the desktop. They have a Mac version and a PC version. So I'm going to go ahead and just download the PC. This is the PC version. You'll just go to um, search. I think where was I? Let's go where I originally was. I think I just searched online for it. GPT desktop app. And when I went to um, this right here, desktop app, uh, applications, you can also, I mean, these all, GitHub is a, a site I trust. Um, and then this is actually um, the ChatGPT OpenAI. So when you get to this page, uh, you know, it's people in the community chatting about it, but then you literally will do, then just be directed to the right link. So in this video, I'll include the actual link, the direct link to OpenAI's uh, place for you to download. Um, the There it is right here. So it's openai.com chat GPT forward slash download. So you have a Mac, you can do the Mac. You can also do the desktop uh, windows and I have a window. So I'm going to do that here. And then we're just going to click download, save it to my desktop or to my downloads folder. And then it will do its thing. Um, installing should be pretty self-explanatory, um, but let's see what it goes through. So we're going to install. And I want to give you my opinion of how this all operates and looks while it's doing its thing. So Scott, we'll see how quickly this download is taking. It's moving pretty fast here. So this is what it promises. So while it's waiting to do that. This is what it promises. So if you're an early adopter like me, you'll want to download this now and <laughs> test it out and see how things are. Well, what I'm looking forward to is the hotkeys and um, some shortcuts that you can do uh, to use it. And so um, here, it's supposed to be able to do more with your PC with ChatGPT. So we will see how that is. And already it's only got 25 ratings, um, but 4.8 rating for those who have it. So let's see what this exercise is. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and, and pick my account. And I'm not going to Launch. Let's see what that desktop app action looks like. So here we go. We are in the beautifulness that is having it on the desktop. So this is not a browser. So it should operate exactly the way a regular chat GPT works, but it's not a browser. So there's some additional like, um, let's see what it says. What's can chat GPT desktop do? So it's got offline capabilities, can upload and download more easily, allowing for quicker handling. So this actually is really the cat's meow, this file handling. Because one of the things that um, we are doing is we are creating um, custom GPT. So if you have, um, and I'll do a whole nother training on creating custom GPTs, um, and why you should be doing them in your business. But we have now created our own custom GPTs that we are offering for travel advisors, but we also have our own working GPT. And so what we do is we upload all of our, um, all of our documents. Um, so all of our files, all of our, um, our vision, our goals, everything. So when we're asking ChatGPT, you know, from its vast of knowledge, it can then also use our own. So doing this, you can do this on online, but it just, I'm thinking that this is going to be easier to do here. Um, task automation with specific features support more task automation, like generating email drafts, creating templates and managing ongoing. That's pretty slick. 
integration with other soft, some desk integrate with tools like Microsoft Word, Excel, or other desktop applications. That's pretty cool. Um, so I'm actually, you know, just wanted to do this quick video to show you that you can download, you know, I'm not a Mac user, but um, nor do I pretend to be one on television, but I do use a PC. So I'm going to be testing all of these features out using the test, the desktop version, but it was very simple to download, very easy for you to um, do what you want to do. But I encourage you to download the desktop version, test it out for yourself and see what you see about it. You do need chat GPT plus or teams version. So if you have a uh, plus version, you should be able to do this without any problem, but I will be reporting to you all and letting you know what I think of the functionality over the next several weeks as I use it, as I start to get off of the internet and actually use the desktop version. I think this is really slick because I think now it doesn't require me to be on the internet, which is yet another reason for me not to be distracted. So leave in the comments and let me know what you are doing when it comes to ChatGPT desktop. Are you going to try it out? Are you going to give it a thumbs up for ease of installation? Let me know and I will talk to you soon.